the fourth Sunday in Advent, Year C, from the Gospel according to Luke, my soul magnifies the Lord. In the name of that same Lord, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our Gospel for this morning, Mary exclaims that her soul magnifies the Lord, and we hear that God neither desires nor takes pleasure in sacrifices and offerings that don't involve the handing over of our whole selves to the will of God. We've heard again and again through the prophets that God's will is for our return to him from wherever we've wandered in search of our own wants and needs. This is the purpose, after all, of all those shepherding images. And this, then, is the purpose of all our sacrifices, to acknowledge both ourselves and our neighbor as part of the goodness of God's creation and to live into our mutual reliance upon the light of God's countenance. This mystery, that we are both part of a larger whole and set apart as a holy offering, is manifested through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all on this fourth Sunday in Advent, as we await the time when she who was in labor has brought forth, Mary's soul focuses our attention upon the willingness of God to offer the whole of his divinity to the experience and service of our humanity. Mary's body focuses the incomprehensible universality of God's unfailing glory into the fragile particularity of a single infant. By saying to God, let it be with me according to your word, Mary enables God to do what God has not been able to do before. God's already shown strength with his arm. He's already scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts, but never before has he taken on the lowliness of his servant. Never before has he made himself subject to the rich and powerful. This offering of the body of Jesus, the body God had prepared for himself, is what sanctifies all of us, reaching into the depths of our souls and leaving no part of our human experience separate from the love of God. If the purpose of sacrificing anything is to set it apart for God, then God abolishes our sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings by establishing his divine will that all should be made whole in the love of God. May the focusing of that love upon each of us in this season of Advent set our hearts aflame so that like the infant John in his mother's womb, we too might leap for joy. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns now and forever. Amen.